All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ to be with you. Welcome, welcome to this uh, lunchtime Eucharist. Uh, welcome if you're participating via the internet. Please pray for us as we pray for you. As ever, at the beginning of this time of thanksgiving to God, we call to mind our sins and our need of forgiveness, mercy and healing. We say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We sit and listen to the Scriptures. A reading from the book of Genesis. It happened that God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. Take your son, God said. Your only child, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering on a mountain I will point out to you. Rising early next morning, Abraham saddled his ass and took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. He chopped wood for the burnt offering and started on his journey to the place God had pointed out to him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. Then Abraham said to his servants, stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship and come back to you. Abraham took the word for the burnt offering, loaded it on Isaac, and carried it, carried in his own hands the fire and the knife. Then the two of them set out together. Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, my son, he replied. Look. He said, here are the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, My son, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering. Then the two of them went on together. 
When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he bound his son Isaac and put him on the altar on top of the wood. Abraham stretched out his hands and seized the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven. Abraham, Abraham, he said, I am here, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him, for now I know you fear God. You have not refused me your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham called this place, the Lord provides, and hence the saying today, on the mountain the Lord provides. The angel of the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, it is the Lord who speaks, because you have done this, because you have not refused me your son, your only son, I will shower blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall gain possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. Abraham went back to his servants and together they set out for Beersheba and he settled in Beersheba. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. I will, I will walk, walk in, in the, the presence, presence of the Lord, the Lord in, in the, the land, land of, of the, living. the living. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. I will walk in, in the presence, presence of the Lord, the Lord in, the in the land, land of, of the, the living. living. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. God cleanse my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus got in the boat, crossed the water, and came to his own town. Then some people appeared, bringing him a paralytic stretched out on a bed. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, Courage, my child, your sins are forgiven. And at this some scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Knowing what was in their minds, Jesus said, Why do you have such wicked thoughts in your hearts? Now, which of these is easier, to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk? But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, get up and pick up your bed and go off home. 
And the man got up and went home. A feeling of awe came over the crowd when they saw this. And they praised God for giving such power to men. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. As we think about the first reading, Abraham being prepared to offer his son in sacrifice. So we think about the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, where the Son of God suffers and dies that we might have eternal life, the forgiveness of our sins, We pray for the church throughout the world as she seeks to proclaim this wonderful news. Especially here in our diocese and here in our parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world in which we live and move and have our being. We continue our prayers for all those who have positions of power and influence among the nations of the world and in our own nation. We pray that they may work for peace and justice and reconciliation. We pray for those parts of our world struggling with the pandemic. We pray for all who go hungry. We pray for a more just distribution of the gifts of God in creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for family and friends, for those participating in this Eucharist through the internet, for all those upon whose love and support we depend in our daily lives. We pray for the communities of which we are part. We pray for this town of Clevedon Remembering today, especially on Market Day, all who serve the community through the shops, through the market. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and suffering, for Millie, Dennis, for Finley and his family, for Julie and Jill, Tony, Anne and Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, and Hannah. Terence, Dorothy, Heather, Mike, Liz, and Joanne. We ask that all who suffer may find healing and hope in the wounds of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue our prayers for those who died recently, for Philip Hine and for Margaret Bennett, for their families and friends. And today we remember especially Diana, Princess of Wales, on the anniversary of her death. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. So we commend all those for whom we pray, the living and the departed, to the intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
in a moment of silence, let us offer to God our own personal prayers and intentions and needs. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By one Spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's acknowledge the presence of one another. Peace be with you one and all. And please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
in the same way after supper. He took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, our patron, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but as from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Amen. 
bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, his holy name. May I receive these gifts in purity of spirit. May they bring me healing and strength now and forever. Let us pray. Well, eternal God, comfort of the afflicted and healer of the broken, you have fed us at the table of life and hope. Teach us the ways of gentleness and peace, that all the world may acknowledge the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and for evermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>